Welcome back to HX 2015. We are here at the HX studio. We will be speaking about brand reinvention, about social media technology, and all the issues uh, surrounding those two topics that may concern you and your business. And here to speak with us right now about those topics is uh, David Kong, President and CEO of Best Western International. How are you? Great. Thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you. We I appreciate, appreciate it. You inviting me. So, uh, talk a little bit about, we know that Best Western has really undergone an enormous rebranding. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, we developed our brand strategy about 10 years ago, and we've been busy implementing that. It includes a commitment to quality, and in that regard, we've separated from over 1,200 hotels in the last 10 years. And as a result of that, we've won all kinds of customer service awards. And we've also set out to become a leader in sales and marketing, in particular the electronic channel. So very gratified that we've been selected by TravelClick uh, as the e of the year three years in a row and Compuware to be the have to have the best hotel website. Yeah, you have a, a really big social media presence and it seems like there's been a push for Best Western to be a leader in the social media presence. How is technology, uh, in your experience, changing the hotel experience? Uh, to, to a large extent, and you, you can't have a successful marketing strategy without having a social media component to it. So I'm very gratified that we have the most number of likes on our Facebook and also num most number of Twitter followers for Best West in, in the hotel industry. And, and is it difficult almost to keep up sometimes with the, all of the emerging trends in technology and in social media? It, it is indeed very difficult. And that's why we have a lot of talent, talented people working for us in that regard, and also we have a media agency to help us with that. Right, so that's important too for other businesses. What's, what's the takeaway uh, for maybe some, some other businesses here uh, to focus on social media and to make sure that they're on top of all the different channels? Absolutely, you know, simple thing like TripAdvisor or Yelp postings, it's important for the owners of the hotels or the businesses respond to, to all those postings, whether they are bad or good. And it's important also to think about how you can use channels like Facebook for marketing. You know, about half the small businesses actually advertise on Facebook. So you've got to think about how you can make Facebook work for you. Sure. And let's talk about that uh, brand reinvention. Best Western uh, has a new logo. We were talking a little bit about that off camera. Uh, tell us about that, and certainly it's not just about a new logo when you're talking about a, a brand reinvention. It's really enormous undertaking. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It's, a, it's an enormous undertaking, and I think it's important for successful brands every now and then to signal the improvements that they're making. You, you can think about Apple or Starbucks. They all do that. Periodically, to change a logo to signal that something is different about the company, something has changed. So in our case, we have made all these improvements in the last 10 years. We really want to signal that something different and something exciting is happening at Best Western. Plus, we want to broaden the appeal of the brand. We want to be more appealing to especially the millennial generation, which mm -hmm. is going to be a very important part of the travel segment. And on top of that, we have different brands. So we want to use the logos to differentiate all those brands properly so people are not confused with what they stand for. So that's why we have uh, these new logos that are coming about. Uh, what advice do you have for other companies as far as rebranding is concerned? It's a monumental undertaking. Don't underestimate how much time and effort you're going to spend on it. And the other thing is keep in mind that things like colors and fonts and shapes are highly subjective and people have a lot of different opinions on that. So you aren't going to please everyone. You think about the most recent example with Google's rebranding. Half the people don't like the new Google logo. <laughs> you right. think, well, Google is a leader in technology. They have all the resources at their fingertips. And, and no doubt worked like very it. hard yeah. to, to, to get to that <laughs> they, point. They did. And half the people don't like it. So you've got to understand that not everyone's going to like your new creation. But you have to stick with why you're doing it and make sure that the new logo meets the objectives of why you're doing it. And, and how important is it to actually undergo a rebranding for an organization, for a hotel? I, I think it's really important to do that periodically to, to signal that improvements have been made. If you don't change the branding, people don't know that something different is happening. 
So it branded, it rebranding is really a, a good way to signal those changes. And, and keep yourself in the forefront, uh, social media and, th and, and things like yeah. that. Absolutely. Okay, well, we really appreciate uh, your time here today. What do you think about the HX 2015? <laughs> That's great. I, I love the fresh design and I like the I even like the X, 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 X uh, which is very social media friendly. Exactly. I you talk it. about love reinventing it. yourself. <laughs> HX certainly That's did right. that this year. <laughs> love it. So there's a lot to see, and we appreciate yeah. you making some time Thank with you. us. Thank you. Appreciate including me. Thank you for being here. We'll see you back here at the HX studio in just a little while.